Howdy dowdy crazelings! Today I made some really cute canvases and they're supposed to be like quilted cats and it has a background looks like it's a quilt like a fat square or fat quarter or something like that and I made two because I'm going to give one as a it was kind of a request the person liked quilting and cats so I tried to put them together and this is what I came up with and I think it turned out really cool I went ahead and like flip flopped them so that way it have kind of a different look to it and the first one I did a purple and the second I did a blue. And I think the blue pops out more. I don't know. I like them both. You tell me which colors you like better. And if you like which flip flop do you like better. I think they turned out really cute though. Let me down let me know down in the comments which one you like the best. And maybe if you have some obsession with cats or quilting, let me know too, because I, I know a lot of people do. I'm more of a dog person, but I think these cats turned out really good. So if you want to stick around for the process video, it's going to be on right after this. Alright, thanks for stopping in and watching. See you later. Bye! Alrighty, so first to get started off, I went ahead and cut some one by one squares, and I'm going to put it on this sketch of two cats that I went ahead and sketched on pencil and then outlined with Sharpie. And I'm using a paper pad from Authentique, and I'm just alternating the squares to make it look like a quilt in a way and just making sure nothing overlaps or anything. And I'm just using a regular glue stick, or a non-glue stick, um, liquid, I guess it's kind of a glue stick, a liquid glue stick. <laughs> it's um, Elmer's Craft Bond, and it's my favorite glue by far, except for hot glue, of course. And I, you want to make sure to get all the points, like the cheeks and the ears. And then here I went ahead and already painted a brown canvas. And I'm adding a lighter brown to make an inside frame. So that and eventually it'll look like a quilt, like a fat quarter. And then I'm going to add some brown, just a normal brown to outline the inside frame. Just giving it a nice coat so it looks all framed and nice. And I'm doing the inside as well. Here I'm going to cut out the cats and I'm going to put them on as soon as the canvas dries. I'm going to paint some green like leaves and vines so that I can add flowers to it later so it's like a flowered print And I'm going to add some stitching along all the edges so that it looks like it's hand stitched on a quilt. And I'm just using a black sharpie for most of this project. Here I'm going to add some of the flowers. Like I said, in this one I used blue, but on the other one I used a purple. And I think the blue pops more but the purple is more suited to the color scheme that I did. 
the background color scheme, but this blue really pops with the paper pad that I used. Here I'm going to go ahead and take the Sharpie and run it around the edges so there's no white showing. I want to really pop be the main focal point of this canvas. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. You want to make sure you get those ears and cheeks really good. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some stitching all around and then also I'm going to take a black sharpie and outline. 